Okay, so I was supposed to be going to look at a fertiliser spreader today with Harry and the family and everything. We were going for a little trip up and we were going to buy in Sour and Sester to see it. However, a change of plan is the Lewis phoned me and said their depot's not open because it's Easter. Um, so we, so we, we're not going up there. We're going out for a day trip anyway. But in the meantime, I thought I'd take five minutes out to just come and see my dad, really. And uh, he's over there. We're not going to go and see him on camera because that's a bit private, really. But um, do you know it's a lovely spring morning? And uh, we just... Jack's been up here. It's quite an interesting experience. We've just been walking around. The, the older you get, the more people you know in here. I know a lot of the people who are buried here. And... Uh, my family is buried here right from the 19th century, right through. We've just been looking at my great-grandfather's graves and stuff. So um, we just paid our respects to the people we knew and some of the people we loved here, really. But uh, anyway, we're going to carry on off up to uh, Reading now. But that's a day out for the family, so I'm not going to video that. We're just, we'll be back farming in a minute. But this is just a little interlude to explain to you. I'm still going to be looking at the fertiliser spreader at some point, but just not now. All right, let's crack on something else. Oh, grumpy farmer alert. Hang on, I've got flipping rain on my lens. Right, let me just wipe this off and I'll have a chat with you. Oh, that might be marginally better. Flipping heck, I am back in wetland again. Right, so that video you saw at the start was me and Jack up in uh, Titherington on Sunday. Or Saturday? No, Saturday, when it was bank holiday weekend. The weather was lovely and do you know what? We didn't get our fertiliser spreader, but I was thinking, oh well, don't worry, at least we got the sunshine. What's happened? Look. Can you see out there behind me? Blowing a gale, flipping wet and horrible. Right, so I'll give you an update on the flipping... Oh, blow, it's blowing in here. I'll give you an update on the when the cows are going out, because, to be honest, I thought they'd be out this week. My plan was... Right, that bank holiday weekend changed everything. I'm thinking, right, the grass is going to grow. The fertiliser I got on last week, I thought, do you know what? End of this week, we'll get the cows out. But I'm not so sure now. We're going to have a look in the field in a minute. We've got grass, but we've got flipping rain. Look at these girls here, they're munching away. Look, I've put another round bale out. Hello. You right there? Look at that. Look how they burrow in it, look. I love that. Look at that. Munchy, munchy. You can see the rain coming here, can't you? Right. So, at the moment, I can't see the cows going out this week. We got, we have got, let me just walk through the clamp. We have got plenty of silage, look. Look at this. There's a snag though. The flipping silage, right, has slid down the front. And what we got here, right, if you see that sort of line where the bales are, that's last year's silage behind, okay? No, the two-year-old silage, so that's 2021 silage to that line, okay? This is 2022 silage, and it was pushed against the 21 silage last May, it, and it never joins its proper seal in, and what's happened is it's actually come away. It's like a, you know when cliffs break off it's like that and it's all falling down here look. let me just go down the far end you can get a better idea excuse me girls excuse me beep 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 right and look it's all i've got too much silage in front of them now they're making a bit of a mess look you can see it's actually quite a smooth uh, smooth and it's all slid off the lumps come down so they've got loads of silage tonight they're going to be eating all that i i, I just have to live with it hello all right, oh, you're 280, look. The favourite cow in the herd, 280. Everyone knows 280. Oh, girly, you're all right, aren't you? Look at you. Aren't you a gorgeous girl, hey? You are a legend, 280. Oh, you've got a rough tongue, though. Cool. Blimey. All right, 280. She, she's a gorgeous cow. She's the friendliest cow I've ever known. Ever known, 280. 280. And uh, I thought we were going to have to get rid of her, but I think she's back in cow. 
I didn't want to get rid of her. I told my brother we've got to keep trying because uh, the kids don't want to get rid of her. And we thought she wouldn't get in car. We don't know what we're going to do with her. Anyway, look at this rain now. Flipping it. Look. So they're on the sides. Look, over the back there, you can just about make out the oil seed rape, our neighbours, which is in bloom. Brilliant. So that's in bloom. but And the beehives are just there. There's John's beehives. But those bees aren't going to be flying over to there if it doesn't actually come out sunny. This rain, they don't fly in the rain. So we've got a problem with the bees. I was going to do an update with John soon because um, we haven't really done anything about the bees this year. Uh, but they're out. They should be out, but they're not going to be out. And the blossom's just coming out on the pear trees I can see down there. Now the problem we're going to have, this is what happened a couple of years ago, is that if you don't get the right weather, if it's too cold or too wet or and too wet, the bees won't fly. So it doesn't matter whether there's blossom out there and, and rape and everything, they won't go out. A bit like us, they don't want to go out. Anyway, the cows, the cows are still in. We've got some silage bales left. Lucky we have. Look, they're flipping wasting a lot of it. There's no need for that, is there? Come on, girls. Let me just pick this up. Look, nothing wrong with that. It's the way they eat it. Look at that. Don't chuck it on the floor. Oh, you're supposed to like that, not chuck it away. It's worse than kids, isn't it? I mean, you're worse than kids, you are, aren't you? Right. So, they got their ears down, look. Can you notice how they got their ears down? It's probably because of the rain. They don't normally have their ears down like that. You are munching away, aren't you? Right. So these girls are going to be in now. I can't see them going out this week. I'm, gu I'm gutted, really. I really am gutted. I, I want to... I've had enough of this winter. Do you know what? I'll tell you what. I don't know if it's like this for all farmers, for a dairy farmer, from for my point of view, right? It feels like when, you, when you've had them all, all in all winter, it's the equivalent of going on a really long drive somewhere Oh, shutting the gate there. Uh, going like, like a massive long drive, like driving a thousand miles, and you're nearly at the end of that drive, and you're thinking to yourself, oh, I've just got to my destination, and then someone tells you, oh no, you've got another hundred miles to do. And that's what it's like when they're about to go out. You're like, um, you know, you're, you're waiting for them to go out. Oh, I'm at the end of my destination, and they're not ready to go out. Oh, I've just had enough. Let me put that down. I've just had enough. This is our gate or shut. Oh. I've had enough of flipping winter. I've had enough of cleaning out. I've had enough of rain. I've had enough of... Um, I've just had enough. I need them to go out so I can sort of get on with being someone who likes being out in fields and doing stuff. Do you know what I mean? I guess it's no different if you're a gardener or... Something like that. You just you just want to get on with stuff, don't you? And look at this, it's just rain everywhere. Look, the puddles. You know, this is where the cow should be jumping out. Uh, and there's enough grass here, but there's not a lot of grass in the other fields. We need some sun. I've got the fertilizer on, but we need some sun. Bring me sunshine, as they say. All right, I'm gonna go down and end with some positivity. I've got, negativity wise, I've got farm assurance tomorrow, which I'm not looking forward to. We ain't, we're not going to pass that because we rea I realise we're, we've got some bits of paperwork outstanding. We've got to get a, um, our herd health plan, plan signed off by the vet. So we've got to, we, it won't matter, it's like, it's like an MOT for the farm. We're pretty up together. We've just got a few tweaks to do. They'll come out tomorrow and tell us what we've got to sort out. And then uh, we just got to get that sorted. Well, I can get the herd health plan done pretty quick. But um, we just got a little bit caught out because of the bank holiday and also the flipping TB testing just slowed, ruined our kind of what we were doing and everything else. So anyway, we've just been tagging cows just now, actually, just get, making sure all the tags are in. Because after we had that RPA visit, we had to uh, get some tags. We just sorted all that out. But uh, it's like another job, you know, there's always something to do. But uh, if I can get the cows out, I haven't got the stress of 
all the, all the cleaning out and everything I've got to do it every day and I can just get on top of those things like tagging and stuff right so I'm going to show you a bit of positivity because this is a really lovely thing right this is a really lovely thing about doing YouTube I hope you can hear me okay the lovely thing about YouTube is that it makes you realize how many really genuine good people there are out there and uh, I say that because let me get can I get out of the wind in a corner right so the other day you might have noticed I broke a glass jar in the milking parlor I'll just show you this here's a clip of it of what happened thought I'd cap off the day with a confession of a cock up as well just show you this quick one didn't get this on video when it happened but look at this that is the bottom of one of our milk jars in the milking parlor so I was cleaning that trying to get a jet washer push up in it to get a bit of grot off it because we've got a farm assurance inspection and I flipping clipped it with the the jet and turned it and the flipping I had ping and it snapped so that was the glass jar it broke and I just mentioned on there I'm gonna have to get another one well I didn't realize that about three people contacted me and said oh I've got some glass jars um, down by me or I'm, I'm up near Hartbury or down at Honiton or somewhere else and they said if you want you can have them which is really generous and I was sort of thinking about going to get one of them and then just out of the blue, about half an hour ago, a local guy called Willow Pontin, some of you might know him, just turned out and said, Rich, I bought you some glass jars. So he's bought me six replacement glass jars. Look at this. I'll just put them down here now, because I thought if I leave them out in the rain, that this muck on them will clean off. Um, so I've got six new replacement glass jars, look. I broke, I broke the end off that one. These bits are easy to break as well. But you can see that they've got pounds and kilograms on them, same as ours. So kilograms on the right, pounds on the left. So I'm leaving them, I'm gonna clean them off tomorrow. I'm just leaving them to get wet. So I'm just gonna go, let's get out of this rain. I've had enough of this. Let's get in the dry and you might, it's less windy as well. You might end up with Harry on, on Farm Simulator. I think that's what he's saying. He's doing some sort of live stream thing. Oh, I left the gate open. I don't want to get the dog out. Sorry. Um, yeah, so it kind of shows you the power of the internet and the fact that I've had offers of these jars and someone actually bought me some. Uh, but also, it does show you how many genuine lovely people there are out there. And uh, I'll tell you what, you know, you can hear some negative. Oh, I'm going to let Buddy out. Here's some negativity about life, but realistically, there are more good people than bad people out there. Aren't there, Buddy? Hey, all right, birds. Do you want to go out in the rain? Are you going out in the rain? Right. So, thank you to those people that did offer me uh, glass jars from the milking parlour because uh, that was appreciated. But I am sort. I've got six now. I've broken two in in forty years. I've got six now. Should be all right. Should see me out as they say. Right. Let's go in and see Harry. I think he's on his live stream thing. Here he is. Hello. Are you? What are you I'm on? Problems. What's your problem? I don't know what to do because I can't hold this camera whilst. Doing you need a tripod stand thing. I could probably sort that out in a minute after put this down. Okay. All okay. right. I've got two people. What are you playing? FS twenty two. Are you? Yeah. And is this some particular game or something? Silage. Okay. Silage. That was called. All right. What? Uh, dog's yeah. got his chewy thing. It's got a different name, but still. Alright, I'll be back in a minute, alright? Hey, Gary, I think I've sorted it now. We've finally managed to get it. You, I don't know what you're doing. Doing you, silage. And this is on some. By the time people have seen this video on YouTube, this you, live and yeah. game won't be on. You're playing a live game with some people off there, are you? Yeah. Fans. Nine point something K likes on this video. That's a lot. Wow, right, I'll leave you to it. There you go, so there's a cow update anyway. We're, I'm back inside now. Listen it. I smell a chlorus because I've been cleaning the parlour today, ready for farm insurance. Fingers crossed we won't have too much of a thing to deal with tomorrow. But um, in the meantime, fingers crossed for good weather for everyone, not just us, but for the gardeners and everyone else out there. And for Harry's Farm Simulator. Crack on. Nope, the cows are definitely not going out this week.